A lamp of mass M is suspended from two ropes of unequal length as shown above. Which of the following is true about the tensions T1 and T2 in the cables? So the first thing I'm going to do is denote the angle that both T1 and T2 make with respect to a vertical line. And I'm showing here as dashed in black. Now I'm going to assign uh, indicators for each of the angles. So for T1 in the vertical, I'm going to denote that to be theta. And for T2 in the vertical, I'm going to denote that to be phi. Now, in order to compare T1 and T2, we have to apply Newton's second law. So the net force is equal to ma. Now, if we apply it for the y-axis, we would have the sum of the y components is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. But this object is in equilibrium. It's not moving, so we know it's not accelerating up or down. So ay is equal to zero. If we now apply Sokotoa to each of the tensions and also take into account the weight, we would show that T1 cos of theta plus T2 cos of phi minus mg, because the weight is directed downward, why as both of the components of the tensions are directed upwards, and that's equal to zero. So here we've shown T1 cos of theta plus T2 cos of phi is equal to mg. Now this is one comparison that we can use to help determine whether or not t1 is greater than or equal to t2 or vice versa or whatever relation it ship it has. But if we also look at the x-axis and apply Newton's second law, we once again are in equilibrium so we're not moving or accelerating in the x direction so ax is equal to zero. We once again apply Sokotoa but this time using sine instead of cos we would have T1 sine of theta minus T2 sine of phi is equal to zero. The x component of T1 is directed to the right. The x component of T2 is directed to the left, so the negative x direction. So that's why it's minus here. So here we've shown T1 sine of theta is equal to T2 sine of phi. Now, with this relationship, we can also conclude whether or not T1 is greater than or equal to T2 sine of phi. So now, if we use this relation, so T1 sine of theta is equal to T2 sine of phi. If we now divide both sides by sine of phi, we have T2 is equal to T1 sine of theta over sine of phi. Now this relationship will be very helpful in determining whether or not T1 is greater than or equal to T2 or whatever other relationship they have. So if we return to our initial problem, it tells us that we have two ropes of unequal length. So there we already know that sine of theta is not equal to sine of phi. So the choice B that T1 is equal to T2 isn't right. These two will not cancel out, the division will not cancel out and equal 1, showing that T2 is equal to T1. That's not going to happen in this case because they're of unequal length, so they're not going to have the same angle when they're fully stretched and taut for them to have an actual tension in the rope. So choice B is wrong. If we look at this, we see that for the shorter wire or rope T1, that theta is going to be smaller. So if that is the case, and sine of phi is greater, we know that when the sine of zero is equal to zero, and the sine of 90 degrees is equal to one. So the further away we get from the 90 degrees and get closer to zero, the value of sine gets smaller. So if we take the sine of a smaller angle, it's gonna give us a smaller value, and if we take the sine of a larger value than that, it's going to give us a larger value than this one. So here we're going to have T1 times some small number divided by a larger number. This here is going to result in an overall smaller value for T2. So here with this relationship here we've shown that T1 is going to be greater than T2 
simply off the basis of the angles. So our answer for this question would be C. T1 is greater than T2. Once again, it comes from the relationship of the forces acting in the x direction because our system is in equilibrium. We've proven that T2 is equal to T1 times the sine of theta over the sine of phi. We know if theta is smaller and is approaching zero, this value here is going to get smaller. In turn, this value here would be getting larger, which would cause the relationship here to show that as, t, that as the theta gets smaller, the value for T2 is also going to get smaller. So from here, we can see that the smaller the angle that we make with respect to the vertical will result in a greater tension in the rope. So that's why T1 is going to be greater than T2. So once again, the answer is C. T1 is greater than T2 because of the, relation, because of the relationship dependent upon theta and phi.